When I decided to do a variety show, I thought about the programs I used to see when I was a kid in New York. They were good, clean fun and nonviolent, something for the whole family to enjoy. Every week you'd meet future Hollywood stars, comedians and magicians. The music would be jazz, rhythm and blues, salsa and even Dixieland. And sometimes you'd see comedy sketches. I miss that kind of variety show. And if you do too, you're going to love Norma's Place. Look out, jazz lovers. Here comes Robert Kyle. Robert, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for oh, having me. That was a beautiful, beautiful tune. Um, I usually don't sit still when I hear music like that, you know. Dancing in your seat, huh? Dancing in, oh, there's a good title for you, Dancing in Your <laughs> Seat. I think somebody's done that, Dancing in the Street. That could be. <laughs> Anyhow, I want to mention that uh, that album, uh, rather that tune called uh, Blues for Dr. Foot, mm -hmm. is one of the tunes on your new album called Blue Winds. Yes, it is. Gosh, now did you write that? I did. I did. I wrote it for a good friend of mine named Dr. Foot. Well, his nickname is Dr. Foot. Oh, I see. What does he do? He's a karate instructor. Oh my goodness. Yeah, and he used, to, he used to fight full contact karate and kick people in the head, and he got the nickname <laughs> Dr. Foot. His oh. real name is Cecil Peoples. Cecil Peoples. And he was, also plays the saxophone. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite a switch. Yeah. That's wonderful. Anyhow, um, I, I want to mention uh, nowadays I've noticed that uh, record labels and record companies and production companies, they all have funny names. Yeah. Well, like, they're not decided by corporations anymore, individuals that, or 
involved so we can be more creative. Exactly, like your own record label is? Dark Delicious Music. Dark Delicious Music. Mmm, chocolate, I can taste it now. Yummy music. Yes. So, we're going to go to another tune, and uh, we're going to change the mood a little bit here, and we're going to hear something called So Many Stars. Roll that tape, please. I, I love that song. 
Me too. That's, that's been around a long time. It has. It's a beautiful melody. Oh, it sure is. And I want to mention that that's also on um, another of your albums called Brazilian Moon. Yes. That yeah. one's all Brazilian and Latin jazz. Were you influenced uh, by Brazil 66 the way oh, so yeah. many people were? Absolutely. I love that group. And, uh, you know, uh, my first influence to that style of music was the Stan Getz and Joe Beam recordings. Oh, my you know, gosh. The I classic remember that. stuff. I remember that very well. Which I love yeah. to this day. And, you know, um, a saxophone. I don't know why the words sexy and saxophone always seem to go together, but they do. And you know, I always notice that uh, in movies, when they mm -hmm. have like a really romantic scene, mm -hmm. the instrument you hear is the saxophone. Yeah, it's almost cliche now. They have a, a love scene. Wow. You know they're going to put a saxophone. Well, they I think sure that are. the saxophone's a very emotional instrument, and it's also very human-like in the way that the sounds that it makes, they're very vocal. Mm -hmm. And I think that people respond to that because it's almost like you're hearing a voice but without hearing a voice. Exactly. Um, during your illustrious career, which is, you know, still ongoing and growing, tell us some of the people that you have uh, performed with on stage or recorded with. Uh, well, probably the one I've been with the longest and who's had the uh, the biggest effect on me is the the great singer Linda Hopkins. Ah, yeah, jazz singer. Yeah, mm -hmm. she sings jazz, she sings blues, she sings gospel, and I've been mm -hmm. with her, I guess, about twelve years. Really? And, and uh, you're her music director now? Yes, I'm a her musical music director? director when she has her small group, and uh -huh. we've been all over the world. We've been to Japan, we've been to Europe probably twenty-five or thirty-five times. Oh my gosh, how incredible! And, yeah. uh, but here, uh, here in the states, though, other people that my my viewers would know. Oh, um, uh, I know you've uh, been on stage with Linda Ronstadt. And yes. Who else? Uh, I've done some shows with uh, Linda Ronstadt, Carol King, mm -hmm. Kenny Loggins. Mm -hmm. uh, I've worked quite a few times with Lou Rawls and recorded oh, with one him. Oh, one of my favorites. What a voice and what a gentleman. Yeah. Oh, isn't he, though? Yeah. Gosh, yeah, he he's, he's been going on for a long time. You can't stop him. No, he's wonderful. <laughs> uh, I work with Della Reese. Um, I did uh, a show with her. A few shows with her, uh -huh. and she's also quite an amazing lady. Yeah, I went yeah. to, uh, I don't know if you've ever gone to her church. Uh, we rehearsed at her church. Oh my, I yeah. went there one day and I was so impressed. It's, yeah, it's just marvelous. Master. You she's come away feeling really good. Person. Oh, she's a powerful really good. person. Um, I want to tell my audience that um, you will be appearing at a lot of jazz festivals all yes. over California. Yes. And um, by the way, if you'd like to. Uh, keep up with Robert and his doings, I would encourage you to visit my website and uh, we'll hook you up with him. And also you can uh, see what albums he has available and what have you. Gotta love the internet. Oh, you gotta love the internet, don't yeah, you? It my is gosh. Amazing. I think I think it's wonderful. I'm in all in favor of it. Yeah, me too. Well, Robert, I can't thank you enough for coming on the show. Thank you for having really me. Really enjoyed it. Thank you for me sharing too. your music with us. Uh, our pleasure. And uh, continued success. Thank you. We'll be right back after this short message. At All Valley Barbecue Spa and Fireplace, we're number one in outdoor fun. We offer performance, quality, and value in all our products. We sell palapas, barbecue islands and equipment, jacuzzis, billiards, heaters, smokers, and fireplaces. So come to All Valley Barbecue Spa and Fireplace to see the possibilities at our Highway 111 showroom in Indio or visit us on the web. Remember, we're number one in outdoor fun and guaranteed to make your cooking good looking. Experience the beautiful 640-acre Indian Palms Country Club and Resort with its 27-hole USGA golf course. A complete resort, the La Palma Restaurant and Bar is open to the public. Mingle for Monday night football, enjoy Thursday pasta night or Saturday steak with vintage wines. The elegant Palm Terrace Events Facility is perfect for weddings, birthdays, and family parties for up to 250 guests. Indian Palms Country Club and Resort, located at 48th and Monroe. Call 760-775-4444. 
When I got married, I wanted a platinum style wedding. My dress and flowers were perfection. My wedding day was so amazing. Unfortunately, I let a friend shoot the video and he used his home video camera. What a mistake! Enjoy your wedding day and let Platinum HD Wedding Video Professionals and their Emmy Award winning staff capture the precious moments of your biggest day on DVD and Blu-ray. Platinum HD Weddings, it's the ultimate way to remember forever. It's my pleasure to introduce the mellow sounds of Aspen. Watch this. Well, I searched the whole world over And I've gone from place to place I search of a love and affection But only the mind is made Now that I finally found you My heart has found its place Just got thinking about you Oh, the smile on your face Singing, hey, lady Hey, lady Hey, lady Hey, lady You're the one Yesterday, I haven't got time to play. I'm messing around. But baby, I've got one thing to say. I love you every day. That this world turns around. George, welcome to the show. It's a pleasure to be here. Gosh, that, that song, You're the One, that's really beautiful. And uh, that's from your new album, Blue Skies. Yes, it is. And did you, you did you write that one? Uh, actually, that song was written by myself and two of the members of the band, uh -huh. and um, uh, yeah. Zamora and, and Louie. Beautiful. And it's Thank got you. that incredible harmony that I'm hearing so much more of nowadays. Yeah. That um, it's just so wonderful. Well, you thank know? you. I'm I'm tired of people like you know, drowning me out with all that stuff. Well, you know what I mean. Oh, stuff, I know what you mean. Right? We don't want to put anybody down, but no. It's time for music to come back. That's right? nice to hear good harmonies. Right. Exactly. 
Um, do you write a lot of songs? Uh, everything we play is all original. Uh -huh. And uh, I personally write a lot of material, and yeah. the other guys in the band write a lot of material. So you all kind of collaborate and decide we collaborate which are the best harmonies? Um, we will all, you know, sit around and yeah, yeah. work on yeah. what's best at that particular time. And do what's the most fun, I'm sure. Heck yeah. Yeah, well, you all, you all look like you're having such a good time. Well, it's really fun to be here with you. Yeah. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. Tell me, um, does the band travel a lot? We've done a lot of traveling, yes. Um, Whereabouts? Well, we had an opportunity to go with Ambrosia, which is... I'm sure everybody has heard of. Oh, they've and only been around for about 27 years. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we got to do some traveling with them in Arizona and what have not. And we've done a lot of traveling up into Northern California. Mm -hmm. Great. Where um, we got a lot of radio airplay up there. Oh, great. And um, yeah, so we, yeah. we've gone through quite so a So you keep, you keep yeah. busy. Yeah. Excellent. You know, I have to mention, um, I noticed that you record on the E-Legal record, right? Yes. I, I'm just really so tickled the way the business has changed and it's so much more relaxed. I mean, when I was a kid, you had RCA Victor and you had DECA and, you know, like these just sterile kind of things, right, right. right? And now, of course, musicians have things like um, my friend Robert Kyle records on dark, delicious music. Right? That sounds pretty good. Yeah, that's cool. Uh -huh. And then another friend, David Diggs, records on indignant music. You know, so it's like you're all saying something, right? Yeah. Illegal records. Right. But well, it's E, yeah, you're right. Yeah. I that's think it's great. It's all fun. Uh -huh. I think there's a lot. Don't you find that there's a lot more fun in the business now? You know, if there wasn't, if it wasn't so much fun, I wouldn't even bother doing it. You wouldn't you, bother doing heck it? Heck no. You yeah, gotta have fun doing it. That's true. There's too much stress in the world as it is. Sure. So we gotta do that. Yeah. Well, anyhow, let's not talk too much. I always like to play up more music than, than talk. Okay. So let's hear another song, shall we? Sounds good to me. Okay, do it. <laughs>
hooked me on that one. I got I to gotta tell you. you, since you were so kind to give me your album, um, it's like an everyday occurrence with me. I just pop it on in the morning, and it's just so pleasant. So pleasant. You flatter me. Yeah, <laughs> no, but I mean it. I really do. Uh, you know, I'm opinionated enough that if I didn't like it, I wouldn't say so. Well, thank you very much. That's I have a nice. question for you, okay? Yeah. What... Um, What's the difference between a rock band mm -hmm. and an unplugged acoustic band? Well, my interpretation of it okay. is it, actually you can have a rock band that can do an unplugged acoustic set. And basically what it is, instead of taking all your amplifiers and all your effects, and it's kind of like the difference between going up on a stage and you know playing loudly with amplifiers and right. all electric equipment. A lot of reverb to where, and yeah. stuff like that. And the processors and just actually taking acoustic, you know, which is, uh -huh. you know, like just regular, just a regular guitar wood yeah. type guitars and right. they have wood, you know, acoustic yeah. basses and all that. And it's more of a mellower, laid back That's what I was just going to say. It's much more yeah. mellow, easier to listen to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that. And you, of course, uh, you do uh, a set, don't you, when you're in concert. Just strictly acoustic? We do a lot of um, acoustic music. Yeah. Um, and at the same time, though, we, um, we do do the electric, but we have done unplugged shows where okay. it's just... Just that nice just, straight music. Just, yeah, just... Love it. Love don't it. use a full drum set. Yeah. You use djembes and yeah. more. Yeah, nice. it's, it's actually really nice. I bet. I, I enjoy it, it. It's simpler and easy on the ears. Yeah. Yeah. What, um, what's your goal for Aspen? Well, the goal from all of us is, uh, you know, to reach as many people as we can, right? And um, and hope that they enjoy what we're doing, yeah. so that um, right. we can, I know, as corny as it sounds, so we can bring some pleasure to some people, you know. And that's, every time we turn the radio on, what do we hear? That's right. We hear Aspen. And people will come and see the shows, and yeah, and uh, hopefully Great. enjoy themselves. And well, I know that after people hear your music on the show today, you know, they're going to be out there looking for the album. You well, know. thank you. Oh, and by the way, speaking of that, uh, I would encourage you to send me your email, which will be shown at the end of the program, and I'll put you in touch with George and Aspen, and you can find out where they're going to be playing in concert, or maybe it's a club anywhere around California, and I'm sure you'd love to go and see them. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you next time. saved a life today. I took two flood victims to a shelter. I donated a day's pay to help a family that lost everything in a fire. Have you saved a life today? I teach a class in infant CPR. I donated a pint of blood. Have you saved a life today? No, but today somebody saved mine. The American Red Cross. Together, we can save a life.